Hey guys, just back from overseas and got home and they had a wonderful package from Kerensky 77. And in addition to all these locks we're getting ready to go over with, he sent me a really detailed uh, letter here. And it's a spoof. He's playing off of the uh, picking under stress, you know, where we did the kind of the unusual stuff with the banana. And he calls this, uh, it's, a, it's like a read-in to a classified program talking about the locks. And uh, he made up a little acronym. It's called the Secured Area Denial Device Advanced Na Nanotechnology Ubiquitous System. Henceforth called, and then of course we have a very unfortunate acronym there, but I am now read into this program and he tells me when I'm done I'm supposed to destroy these locks or give them away, which is probably what I'll end up doing. So let's take a look at what he sent us. Um, we'll just start here. I got a Corbin, no key. Doesn't look too bad. That ought to be a lot of fun to pick. We have an American 570. I've I had a whole bunch of these. I bought them on eBay, and they're not easy to pick either. These cores are under a lot of spring tension, making them quite a challenge to get into. Uh, I got a Junkunk Brothers, again, no key. And these also, the cores are supposed to be removable, but I've never been able to pick one to the core. Uh, we've got a US lock, and this one is brand new. This is perfect. And this is one of the few that actually came with a key. Um, these are not easy picks, I can tell you that. I've tried picking several of these. You guys probably remember me embarrassing myself. I got an Ilco. Um, this one is a wafer lock. So if I got to pick one, this probably would be a, to pick for this video. That would probably be a good choice. <laughs> I got a Medico, and this is a good learner Medico because this one came only three of the pins are in place. So I might be able to repin and rekey this one. Send that out to somebody. Um, I got a a tank lock and I think that's just got a cool name but I'm not sure it's going to have the resistance of a tank. Um, got a aero cylinder. Looks like we got all the hardware, everything we need for this thing. And we got keys for it too. Two of them, alright. Six pin looks like, and this is a Asa Abloy. I didn't know Aero was owned by Asa Abloy, but they own everything else, so why not that? Um, these are the two that he really wanted me to pay attention to. I'm not going to try to pick these for this video because I know how it'll turn out. I can only imagine what kind of alien technology he's got inside of these, since he went to the trouble to mummify these keys. He doesn't want us picking. These are Marks cylinders. They look like Schlage's, but these are Marks keys. You can tell by the unique shape. But I'm not going to bust this open because that would be that would be cheating. We're not going to do that. But I'm also not going to pick that right now. So let me um, let me try the shiny one. I'm always attracted to shiny objects. Let me get these out of the way, and we try the obligatory opening. I'm not even going to look at the key. If I can find the vice here. Whoops, I'm knocking everything over. Okay, find a tension tool. That'll fit. That kind of binds. Let me try. Let me try top of the keyway. See if that'll fit in there. Okay, I got the fat Peterson, so that works. And I will try, it looks a little narrow, I'm going to try a Peterson short hook. Let me just first see how many we got here. Feels like six. All right. A little bit of tension. And of course everything's binding up. I should have taken that damn wafer lock. What was I thinking? All right, I gotta play with the tension a little bit on this thing. God, I hate I hate o box openings. <laughs> All right, pin three got a little bit of a fault set. Find the next binder. It's 
two. Jesus, that was not expected. All right, it must have nothing spectacular in it. Let's do, or what, five minutes? Let's pop it open. I don't think there's any security pins in this. I think I chose wisely. Okay, the only thing we got to watch, we don't want to align that top slot with the top pins because then they'll fall out on us. So I got to kind of play with it a little bit here, get the right angle. And let's see if we can make a line of flat spot. There we go, we'll try that. All right, there's all six. Doesn't look like these cylinders have been countermachined there or countermilled. All right, these are all standards. And I've got a feeling these are going to be standards as well. Otherwise, things wouldn't have gone quite as smoothly as they did. They're all standards, guys. There's nothing spectacular here. Oh, well. All right, there you go. An arrow owned by Asa Abloy, but looks like it's been dumbed down just for us. Anyway, there you go. Kerensky, 77. Thank you, sir, for all these locks. This was very generous. And these, I'm sure, are going to be just a lot of fun. Everybody else, stay safe. And for goodness sake, stay legal. All right, guys, whoever gets this Asa Abloy, this Aero Nex, is going to have just a little bit more of a challenge. It'll take you more than a minute. Uh, I've pulled some stuff out of the Alien Technology bin, as you can see there, and I believe this will take you just a little bit longer. It looks like this one might be a little bit more fun. I even managed to find one Asa key pin that matched up. So there you go. I pity who gets this thing next.